Maschine winkt über der Fanmeile den dort wartenden zu. Ein Hoch auf Good afternoon. Welcome back to the IFA International Keynotes. I'm Jens Heitegger. I'm the director of the IFA, and I'm honored to welcome you all to IFA and to our international keynotes here in the new City Cube. Soccer, you have seen, is the key sport for the consumer and for the home electronics industry. And don't fear, I will not remind again who won the last championship. I think there's no need. But you know, the famous, the very famous soccer players, Neymar, Messi, and Iniesta, what they have in common? De Vere on their jersey printed Beko. Because Beko is the new sponsor of Barca. And people might ask, who's Beko? You will experience it soon. But for you here in the audience, there's one question. I guess it's more important. It's more interesting. Who's the company behind? It's Archelic. Archelic is a company with 25,000 people, with some of the most popular brands in home electronics, and it belongs to one of the largest business groups in Turkey, to the Koch Group. In the recent years, the Archelic Group improved their product and their brand strategy in a truly remarkable way. And by the way, do you know that the brand Grundig belongs to Archelic too. All of that is the reason that we're very keen and very curious to learn more about them. And we are very proud and honored to have this presented by the president of the Koch Holding Durable Goods Group and the CEO of Archelic. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage, on stage Levent Chagiroglu. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. It's a real privilege to be here with you today. Today, I want to tell you our story. It's a story about change, about how the world is changing and how our business, inspired by a vision, is changing too. This vision influences everything we do at Archelic from the way we set our strategy to our relations with our business partners, customers, and to the way we live and work as business. I hope that you find this story interesting and also discover something unique about Archelic. Everywhere we look at today, particularly here at IFA, we can see the impact of new technologies and, of course, the Internet are having on our lives. We can find out almost any fact of human knowledge by consulting the world's biggest encyclopedia using our mobile phone in our pocket or share photographs, pictures on Facebook or Twitter. I know it sounds trivial, but it wasn't possible 10 years ago. I'm sure none of us can imagine life without mobile phones and the internet. This is not the only change, though. There are big fundamental things happening. 
the world's population is forecast to grow from 7.2 billion to 8.3 billion by 2030. This is 80 million new people every year, the same as the population of Germany. And at the same time, countries and communities are developing and changing rapidly. Some countries have seen double-digit growth for a decade, creating wealth and jobs and improving quality of lives for billions. But this change is manifested in other ways too. New towns and cities are springing up as people move from rural areas to urban centers. And as they do so, and as they become more prosperous, they want more apartments, bigger homes, new furnitures, televisions, cars, trains, restaurants, and cinemas. All of this is progress, change for the better. But such progress comes at a price. It places huge demand on the world, especially on natural resources, including food, water, and energy. And don't forget climate change. Man-made global warming is changing, changing the world in a way we are just beginning to understand fully. How do you balance the need to tackle this change with the expectations of developing and emerging markets to industrialize and enjoy the lifestyles of the developed world? These are big and complex issues and pose difficult questions with no easy solution. The answers are equally big and complicated. The business world is changing too. Developing new products, entering new markets is very different in comparison to 10 to 20 years ago. People's expectations of business are different also. Success is not simply measured by profit or loss. People rightly judge companies on their corporate behavior and social impact too. The strongest measurement of success is not financial. The strongest measurement of success is the reputation of the business and the trust people place in it. And this is a consequence of how the company behaves what it stands for, what it does, and what it doesn't do. The numbers in our profit and loss columns simply chart the progress that we are making financially. A company's reputation, the strength and perception of the corporate brand is the greatest benchmark of success or failure. At this point, I want to tell you a little about Archelic and why I believe our approach to measuring success is so important. Our story began in 1955 as a local manufacturer. We produced our first washing machine in 1959 and a fridge a year later. Back then, as today, our products were high quality, and Archelic was able to expand quickly. Soon, we became well-established regionally. Later, we spread and grew more internationally. As we did so, we invested in design and technology and opened research and uh, development centers. And 
we evolved from manufacturing under license to developing our own products. And so quickly, we became a leading innovator in the market. I'm proud we have won and continue to win many awards and plaudits for our technology. Today, I describe Archelic as a consumer-centric company, one that develops and manufactures white goods and consumer electronics, one that puts state-of-the-art science into the appliances to help our customers. My own personal story with Archelic starts six years ago. I joined from a retail background, a sector that is very fast moving and exciting. There was change happening all the time. And I'll be honest, I wasn't sure if the white goods sector could be so exciting. The life cycle of the product is much longer, and it takes time to develop new products and bring them to the market. But I was pleasantly wrong. As you will know, and I have found out, the sector is very exciting and full of change. There is so much diversity in our products and what we do. The international markets and different cultures that we work in are changing constantly in many and exciting new ways. Consumer habits are always shifting, and the pace of change in technology is even faster. When I joined Archelic, of course, it was a well-respected international company. It was clear to me that Archelic was ready to take the step onto the biggest stage to realize its ambition to be one of the best brands in its sector globally. To do this, I believed we needed to have a vision, a philosophy that we could, lie, we could live by for the long term and that would glue us together as business. It also needed to be a philosophy that would motivate my team, a group of very highly talented and ambitious people to deliver outstanding results. And it was crucial that it was a philosophy we would enjoy living as we worked. I also wanted it to reflect my deep beliefs in two things. First, respect for people, our staff, our customers, the people who use our products. And second, our respect and responsibility to the planet and its resources. We captured this in a simple phrase, respect the globe, respect it globally. And this is our guiding principle for doing business and achieving our ambition. We believed, if we lived by this philosophy, even if we didn't put hard numerical targets at the center of our vision statement, success would still follow. It's fair to say that in the very beginning, there was some skepticism of this approach in some corners of the business. Some people questioned whether it was the right approach following a philosophy rather than hard numbers such as top-line growth, market share, or ranking was the right thing to do. It was a change for the business, and it's human nature to wonder about change, whether it's a good thing. To help people understand how respects the globe, respected globally, shapes our approach to business, 
we translated it into some simple principles. One, achieving sustainable and profitable growth by reaching more markets and consumers globally. Two, giving consumers innovative products and services which reflect their needs. Three, understanding the impact of our products have on the world and working hard to minimize it, both during manufacturing and essentially, crucially, in the home. And four, above all, behaving with honesty and integrity for the future generations and the planet. We were asking the business for a big faith of big leap of faith to believe in these principles and a big commitment to live by them. But they did so very quickly and embraced, respects the globe, respected globally and what it means. Today, it has become part of Archelix DNA. I should emphasize here that our people, and in particular, their willingness to be bold and to have faith in this philosophy was the most important success factor. Our people still are our strongest asset today. Thanks to their commitment, we have enjoyed success in many different ways. We are a global business number one, two, or three in nearly all our key markets, having a multi-billion dollar turnover. In the last five years, we have doubled our sales turnover. We have become the second largest player in our sector across Europe, Middle East, and Africa, which is half of the global market. Through our Beko brand, we have doubled our market share in Europe, growing from the fifth to second place in the last five years. Beko is the fastest growing white goods brand in Europe. We are the market leader in the UK, also in Poland, similarly number three in France. Our DeFi brand in South Africa is number one, as is our Arctic brand in Romania. We achieved this by creating a business strategy based on five key pillars. Technology, innovation, design, quality, and brand. These are not just buzzwords. They are at the heart of everything we do at Archelic. And as a consumer-centric company, we constantly strive to over-deliver. Let me explain what it means. Whenever we are in the world, we talk to the people. We look at their lifestyles. We visit their homes to understand their needs. I take every opportunity I can to meet our customers and spend time with them to understand the changing habits, especially when we enter a new market or a new product category. It's not just me. The whole management team takes it upon itself to understand their lifestyles, cultures, and changing habits. And then we make sure everything we have learned is reflected in our products. A brilliant example is our latest fridge freezers. Multi-zone technology gives our customers flexibility to adjust sections of their fridge to different temperatures, meaning that they can be used either as a fridge or as a freezer. Additionally, our dual cooling technology keeps the air moist to 
stop your food drying out, resulting in it staying fresh for longer. As a result, our tests show that vegetables last up to three times longer than in conventional fridges, freezers, and it works in any climate. So, rice in China, meat in Mongolia, sweet potato in South Africa, or even fish here in Germany will stay fresh for longer. When you consider that one third of all the food we make or store is lost or goes to waste, we are not just saving our consumers time and money. More importantly, we are helping to protect precious resources. Not everything we do has to be so rooted in sustainability, though. Sometimes it is just about making a difference in people's lives. In Italy, for example, we have developed a special pizza oven which allows families to cook their favorite pizzas at home in exactly the same way they are cooked at their favorite restaurants. These developments are made possible by the combination of the state-of-the-art technology and innovation driven by our desire to, con to improve consumers' lives and the planet. To give you a measure of innovation, for the past five years, Archelic has been in the list of top 200 companies globally filing patent applications to the World Intellectual Property Organization. Now I want to move to a different subject that I touched on earlier. The internet has an important role in our lives. It shapes our industries and, of course, affects our sector and our company. Most of you are already familiar with the Internet of Things and how the world is becoming connected. The connected world means we are on the edge of transforming the way users interact with our products as appliances change from tools to intelligent companions. This means you will have fridges that can check if you need more milk, then add it to your sh online shopping list for delivery or the GPS in your smartphone will know you have left work, check the contents of your fridge, and download the recipe, then turn the oven up, on to warm up. These are great benefits, but we can also make appliances that will download software updates to improve their efficiency, saving money and energy or updates to dishwashers or washing machines which reduce their water consumption. Smarter and higher quality products mean that they last longer and use fewer spare parts, reducing their impact on the planet too. Having talked about how we can improve the environmental impact of appliances, let me share some facts with you. According to a recent European Union report on energy efficiency, families and households are responsible for 30% of total electricity consumption, and appliances use half of this 30%. And did you know that more than 90% of the carbon emissions of electrical appliances is generated in the home after purchase? If we replaced 
all the household appliances in the EU, in EU with super efficient A triple plus products, we would save 55 billion kilowatt hours of energy every year. To give you a perspective, this 55 billion kilowatt hours is 10% of Germany's yearly electrical energy consumption. Therefore, finding new ways to be energy efficient is one of the most effective ways, we, effective things we can do to reduce carbon emission and address climate change. Dear guests, I hope you can see that at the heart of our philosophy is respect for people and the way they inspire us. We are proud of the success we achieved, but more importantly, it has been a journey of positive change which we have enjoyed tremendously. Looking ahead, we will continue to change, as of course will the world. Let me give you three forecasts for 2030. Food prices will almost double. Demand for fresh water will exceed supply by 40%. Energy use will have grown by up to 45%. These three statistics show how seriously the world is changing as we continue to develop. We cannot ignore these forecasts. We must respond. Fortunately, as I mentioned earlier, we are also seeing positive change. By 2030, global GDP is expected to double in real terms. And there will be 3 billion extra middle class people. More than half of the world will be middle class. This is a picture of progress. And both the progress and challenges will be even bigger. As a planet, we must separate economic and social development from resources use and environmental impact. Businesses can play an important part of doing so. For example, at Archelic, we are working on an insulating material for fridges that are 10 times more effective than existing ones. This will drastically reduce energy consumption. Our direct air technology is cutting water use in drying phase of our washer dryers up to 80% compared to standard products. Cooking uses a lot of energy, so our super energy efficient luminist gas cooker is far more efficient than existing technology while still offering cutting edge design. Looking to the future and staying true to respect the globe, respected globally, we want to develop products which help the people who most need it. One day, we hope to have products, for example, that people without access to electricity can use, whether it is a fridge or a washing machine. Looking to the future, dear guests, also leads me to Beko, which today is starting a new chapter in its life. The title of this new chapter is Change for the better, which encapsulates the values that Beko believes in, inspired by respect the globe, respect it globally. Let me show you a short film. Change. What is the intrinsic reason for change? What is the origin of that primordial drive that makes us leave certainties behind for possibilities? Why, at heart, 
do we want to change? Because if everyone thinks someone else will do it, no one will do it. I want to give my children the chance to be surrounded by beauty, always. If nothing changes, life is boring. I want to leave a sign and be remembered. Nueve. Seis. Because knowledge shouldn't be a privilege. If we do it right, we will change everyone's life. If I score a goal, we will all be superheroes. So no matter who you're doing it for, no matter what your driving force is, we believe your changes are what really counts. Your actions, your enthusiasm, your spirit are in truth what has been inspiring us. For more than 60 years and for the time to come, to never stop moving, to always challenge ourselves. Today, we are more than 25,000 people at Beko and have more than 440 million customers. We are the second largest white goods brand in Europe, reaching more than 130 countries and leading markets all over the world. From the UK to Poland, from Angola to Singapore, from refrigerators to cookers, from washing machines to freezers, no matter where our success stories begin, each and every one of them starts with an inspiration to keep on changing for the better. Your efforts make us grow. Your beliefs encourage us. Your changes inspire us. If you ask us why, at heart, do we want to change? The answer is simple. Because of you. Thank you. Let me pick out a few of those words from that clip. No matter where our success stories begin, each and every one of them starts with our inspiration to keep on changing for the better. And the reason that we are always trying to be better, indeed be the best, is people, their actions, their enthusiasm, their spirit inspires us today as it has for more than 60 years. Now, today, I believe in respecting the globe, respect it globally, even more passionately. Because I have seen the difference it can make, not only to Archelik, but also to people to the people's lives around the world. I hope I have been able to share this passion with you and help you understand what has driven Archelik to succeed and why we believe that sustainable business is the only way to do business. Thank you. <laughs>